What's up? Welcome to an all new unbiased gear review. Today we are taking a look at Omega pickups from Great Britain. So the first set that we're going to go over is the Basilisk and Aeon combo that I have in the guitar currently. It's the last one that I used for recording the songs that you heard at the beginning of the video. 
So the Basilisk bridge pickup is typically wound around 14.8K DC resistance. It is a little bit hotter than the other pickups that Omega offers. It has three magnets in it. It has a middle magnet that is a Alnego 5, and it's flanked by two ceramic magnets on the sides. The sound can best be described as kind of a little bit of everything. It's got a little bit of a pronounced high end to it that tapers off, or at least starts to taper off at about five kilohertz and just kind of descends from there. The mid range, the low mid range is kind of subdued a little bit and starts to drop off at about 600 hertz and stays kind of tapered off until you get to about 250 hertz where the low end is pronounced. Between 150 and 250 hertz, you have a very, very present low end. A little bit higher output pickup and it actually pairs really, really well with kind of a medium output humbucker in the neck, which is the Eon humbucker. The Aeon neck pickup is typically wound around 8K DC resistance. And out of all the neck pickups I tried, it was definitely kind of the most musical sounding. It just had a very fluid sound to it. Very vintage, even though it's in a guitar that has 24 frets. Um, it was great for the fast picking runs, and when I was just dicking around with it, it also sounded really great with sweep arpeggios and bends and just really made the vibrato really, really sing. Uh, overall, a really, a really great pickup set to be had in the Basilisk and the Eon combo. Coming up next were the Sirens. Now, what was really cool about the Sirens is that these typically have a DC resistance around, around about 12.3 for the bridge and around 10 for the neck. Um, they can be ordered individually or as a set, and these are ceramic magnets. Now, one of the things that I noticed right off the bat is, despite the fact that these are ceramic magnet pickup, and that they had a slightly lower output, they still had a very, very pronounced low end. They actually had a more pronounced low end than any of the other pickups, believe it or not. Uh, still, that kind of same frequency range, right around 150 hertz to 250 hertz, there was just a, a very, very noticeable bump. The low mid was there again, dialed back a bit, uh, only this time it started to creep back up around 550 hertz. And the top end, despite the fact that it was very pronounced because this is a ceramic magnet after all, and also with a brass uh, base plate, it actually did still kind of taper off around uh, 6 kilohertz. Um, the top end, despite being very present, wasn't abundantly harsh at all. Um, and despite this being a pickup that is described as being more suited for progressive and gent styles, and I did notice that, especially when I would hit the lower notes uh, on the very low, lowest string, just a single note, it, it would kind of have a really bold uh, feel to it. It would really just kind of ring out a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I, I can definitely see how this is geared more for the prog and the gent crowd, but at the same time, I felt like it's still multi-tracked really, really well, and despite it being more for the gent crowd, it sounds thick. It sounds ballsy. It definitely doesn't sound like a typical ceramic, uh, pickup does. It just had a lot of oomph to it when I hit the palm mutes. Um... So yeah, this was actually uh, a pretty surprisingly awesome pickup, especially for metal. And now for this one. This one was honestly my favorite pickup set of the three sets that were sent to me by Omega. This is the Cerberus, of which this is the neck pickup right here, but I also had a bridge pickup that I dropped in as well. Um, despite the fact that this was not my favorite neck pickup of the bunch, it just 
didn't sound quite as vintage, believe it or not, despite having a, an Alnico 5 magnet in it. It was easily my favorite of the bridge pickups. So let me give you the specs. So as far as DC resistance, the pickups are very, very close to being even. The neck pickup is typically about 12.7, and the bridge pickup is typically about 13.3. Uh, the differences that you've got are the neck pickup has an Elnico 5 magnet solely, whereas the bridge pickup is an Elnico 5 flanked by two ceramics, just like the Basilisk was. Tonally, compared to the other pickups that uh, Omega sent us, it was very, very similar in the low end. There again, it was very pronounced, once again, between 150 and 250 hertz. But where it differed is the mid-range. Uh, the mid-range from about 250 hertz all the way up to about uh, 1.5 kilohertz was actually rather dialed back. With one obvious exception, there was kind of a weird spike in the mid-range right around 750 hertz. But despite that, because of... I, I don't know. It sounded a little bit louder. It had a little bit more of a honkiness to it. Not unlike a Seymour Duncan Nazgul that doesn't sound quite as over the top. Like a more subdued Seymour Duncan Nazgul, I think, is a very, very good reference point. Um, there again with the top end, like with pretty much all the other pickups that they sent us, the top end was very pronounced and... Like the siren, it tended to taper off about uh, 6 kilohertz is when it started to kind of die off a little bit. Um, to me, there again, neck pickup not my favorite, but the bridge pickup out of the three sets that I was sent was easily my favorite. It just, it really allowed kind of the mid-range character of the amp profile I was using to kind of shine through. Um, instead of being like overabundant, it was just... I, I don't know how to describe it. It was just very, very musical. It was very aggressive. Um, it was just a little bit more pleasing to my ears. Um, but no, I, I really love the Cerberus set. That was definitely my favorite of the three. So I know what you're saying. You're saying, Arnold, what are you drinking today? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Today, I am drinking from Avery Brewing Company in Boulder, Colorado, one of my favorite breweries. I am having the Beast Grand Cru Oak Aged Ale. Pours a very nice copper color with a tannish head. Has kind of a fruity flower smell to it. Mmm. I'm detecting notes of raisins, figs, plums, a lot of darker fruits in there. A little bit of a peach flavor to it as well. And I, I don't know. I, I'd say it's got kind of like a, a sort of wine flavor to it. It's... Just kind of very floral, not just in the aroma, but also in the flavor. Mm. Very good. Very tasty. So let me know what you guys thought. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel. There are lots more gear reviews on the way, as well as other assorted stuff here or there. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.